But after the panic wore itself out, the people came outside and they looked each other in the eye. They were happy to be free from all the screens that had ruined their lives. They would figure out how to deal with the mess, but they knew one thing collectively. They were going to rebuild and do things better. It was an X-3033, if you were wondering. That's how powerful the solar flare was. It created so much force in space that Mercury and Venus are now gone. Luckily for our space adventurers, all it did for them was push them slightly off course a bit, but they weren't really on a planned course anyways. If the protesters were still there, though, their close proximity would have caused them all to crash into each other and explode. So the sun was not off for doing what it did, but Mercury and Venus are sorely missed. The moon heard of what happened back on Earth and began to make its way back. We don't know where it was because it still wants its hiding place to be a secret in case things go south again. It politely stopped by Thaddeus' ship and began writing messages in its dust for him to read. Thank you so much for caring. I can take you back with me now if you want. I have a feeling things are going to be better back home. I can't believe this. I'm so honored for a being such as yourself who's been around so long to come and seek me out. I'm just beside myself, Thaddeus responded. He was aided by turmeric in order to get the message to the moon. The longer you've been around, if you're living your life right, the nicer you'll be. There was no way I was going to go back without finding you. I'm so proud to hear of your search for me. The moon ended recreating the man in the moon, but even better, because this time it was smiling. For those of you who forgot, it was previously blown off the surface by the Obama administration. You know, I created this ship without any way to get back. I was so thoroughly disappointed in humans, I thought maybe I could find friendship or love somewhere else. I was just happy to accomplish getting out here into space. It was even happier when your disappearance created a goal for me to be out here, Thaddeus recounted. Well, I see you've made a friend, although it's not an alien. Turmeric is from Earth, too, you know. The moon made an excellent point, and then continued. So, maybe you've seen some bad things back home, but you're still young. There's so much to see and learn in life. You can't survive out here as long as you could back home. Maybe you should give Earth another chance. I, I'm, I'm humbled. I, I'm not sure what to do. The earth does have its beauty. I really wish the weather wasn't so bad, though, you know. I wish I could have experienced what it was like to live before all the damage man had done. Maybe then I'd appreciate my home more. Thaddeus also made some good points. It was wonderful to see, I can tell you that, the moon continued. I do know of a planet that is similar to what earth was like back then but it won't have any of the creatures or plants you're familiar with, so I'm not sure you'd want to go there. I do miss my family, Thaddeus admitted. I miss looking at Earth, the moon related. After all these billions of years, you'd think I'd never want to see it again, but you know what? I'm from the Earth too. I'm literally a piece that broke off. So it makes you think, if all of us here right now are all from the same planet, but all entirely different beings, well then maybe it's not such a boring or bad place after all. Maybe it's where we're supposed to be, and if we don't like things the way they are, we can try to make them better. The moon's comments should have been heard everywhere, but they were only there for Thaddeus and Turmeric to appreciate. Maybe one day they'll be heard by more and make a change. Epilogue Thaddeus ultimately decided to go back to Earth with the moon. 
even if it was just long enough to devise a plan to go out and explore more and be more sustainable. Turmeric came with Thaddeus because turmeric was now permanently a part of Thaddeus. They were both the best of friends they had ever had and decided if it wasn't too weird to each other, they would be in an exclusive relationship. And so they were. On the way back, their scientific minds pondered with the moon if there was any way they could collectively somehow reset the weather back on Earth so it wouldn't be as harsh. They couldn't quite get an idea of how to refreeze the ice caps or anything like that. They all agreed that surely the moon coming back would help. Much to their surprise, when they got back, the Earth now had more moons. Mostly deconstructed Mercury and Venus had survived enough to catch the Earth's gravity and begin to orbit the Earth. It was absolutely gorgeous to see. They glowed different colors and danced about outer space. On the Earth, it was not beautiful. The new moons meant more insane tides. The coastlines were even more altered than before. Millions of people lost their lives. The weather was even more insane. Nighttime was barely dark at all because of all the moons. This was not the planet they had loved and missed. This was nothing but tragedy. The moon had deflected enough through its life that it knew what it had to do. It dropped Thaddeus's ship at a proper trajectory to safely re-enter Earth's atmosphere at the right time and rush towards Earth. It began absorbing all the other moons. Painfully, it took each hit, but with pride. It enjoyed its job protecting the Earth, and it wanted us all to be better. When it was finished, all the new moons were now a part of it. The pieces that broke off would create a wonderful meteor shower for months to come. The tides returned to a more normal pattern, and everyone on Earth was so excited that they began clapping and yelling thank yous to the moon. It was declared a national holiday. Now every year, Moon Day is celebrated, and thanks to Thaddeus' involvement, it holds an even greater message. Not only is it a day to appreciate the moon in all of its glory, it's also a day to appreciate everyone, especially those who go overlooked. On Moon Day, all are encouraged to try to make a new friend and reach out to people that are seen by themselves. They're also encouraged to check on their neighbors that they haven't seen or heard from in a while or haven't yet met. On Moon Day, every phone call and text message is free of charge. The only thing Moon Day costs is a little extra effort that will go longer than any of us can ever imagine.